Hello and welcome to the Math District. In this video, we will talk about the distance between two points in the rectangular coordinate system and the midpoint of a line segment connecting these two points. Distance formula. The distance d between two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by the formula d equals square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And the midpoint formula. The midpoint of a line segment with the endpoints x1, y1 and x2, y2 is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Let's solve the following problem. Find the distance between two points 3 comma 5 and 7 comma 2 and the midpoint of the line segment that connects these two given points. Let the point 3 comma 5 be our first point and we will mark it as x1, y1, and let 7, 2 be our second point. This will be x2, y2. To better visualize the problem, we can plot the points in the rectangular coordinate system and connect them with a line segment. To plot the first point, 3, 5, we will start with the origin. And we will count three units to the right, that is one, two, three, and then five units up, one, two, three, four, five. This will be the point with the coordinates three, comma, five. To plot the second point, seven, comma, two, from the origin, we will count seven units to the right, one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, and then 2 units up. This point will have the coordinates 7, 2. Now let's connect these points with a line segment. First we will find the distance between these two points using the formula d equals square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Let's replace everything with the given numbers. So that will be equals square root parentheses x2 from above is 7 minus and x1 is 3 all squared plus y2 is 2 minus y1 is 5 all squared. That equals 2. Let's do the operations inside the parentheses first. In the first parentheses, 7 minus 3 will be 4, 4 squared. And in the second parentheses, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And because we have a negative number, we will keep it in parentheses and then we will raise to the second power. Now, that equals to square root 4 squared is 16, because that is 4 times 4. Negative 3 squared, that will be 9, because that will be negative 3 times another negative 3. And uh, 16 plus 9, that is 25. Square root of 25 equals... So we can say that the distance between these two points is 5 units. Now we will find the coordinates of the midpoint. And the midpoint is a point that divides the line segment exactly into two equal parts. On the graph, the midpoint will be here, and we will look for the x and y coordinates of this point. To find the coordinates of the midpoint, we will use the formulas x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. 
Now let's replace with the given numbers. x1 is 3, x2 is 7, all this divided by 2, y1 is 5, y2 is 2, all this divided by 2. In each of these fractions we will add the numbers on the numerator first. 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. In the second fraction 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So we can say that the coordinates of the midpoint are 5 and 3.5. We can also write them on the graph. The x coordinate is 5 and the y coordinate is 3.5. Let's consider one more problem. Find the distance between two points, negative 6, 1, and 4, negative 5, and the midpoint of the line segment that connects these two points. And again we can consider that negative 6, 1 is our first point, and we will label as x1, y1, and 4, negative 5 is our second point, and that will be x2, y2. The distance formula is d equals square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Let's replace the given numbers. Equals square root x2 is 4, parenthesis 4 minus x1 is negative 6. We will write negative 6 inside the parenthesis. All this raised to the second power. Plus y2 is negative 5 minus y1 is 1. All this to the second power. We will do the operations inside the parenthesis first. In the first parenthesis, 4 minus negative 6 is 10 because two negatives make a plus. That is the same as 4 plus 6. So we will have 10 to the second power. In the second parenthesis, negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. And because it's a negative number, we will keep it inside the parenthesis and we will raise to the second power. That equals 10 to the second power is 10 times 10 and that is 100. Negative 6 to the second power, that is 36, because negative 6 times negative 6 is 36. 100 plus 36 is 136. Now we can use a calculator, and this will give us approximately 11.66 units. So we can say that the distance between these two points is 11.66 units. Now let's find the midpoint. The formula for the midpoint is x1 plus x2 all divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 all divided by 2. Let's replace the given numbers x1 is negative 6, x2 is 4, all this divided by 2, y1 is 1, y2 is negative 5, all this we will divide by 2. Let's continue, negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, divided by 2, 1 plus negative 5 is negative 4 divided by 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So the midpoint of the line segment that connects the given points has the coordinates negative 1 and negative 2.
So in this video, we solved two problems where we found the distance between two given points and the midpoint of the line segment connecting these two given points. I hope you liked this video and I would like to invite you for more lessons and videos at themathdistrict.com. Thank you.